Hey guys, this is BBB Production and this is a video tutorial. Um, this video is basically an extension to my Peer Guardian 2 tutorial. If you want to watch that, there will be a link to it in the video description. Um, basically, Peer Guardian 2 is an IP blocker. Um, what it does is it blocks other IPs that are trying to get into your computer. and like just say when you're downloading your IP address is sent to other people so you can get the information so they can connect to you but they can't see what your IP address is but government um, the government has like scanners and they can scan you downloading that copyright material back to your computer and they can put a lawsuit on you um, so that is not good at all um, it also can be used to prevent hackers from going to your computer or other sites that are trying to get put ad or adware on your computer or viruses. So it has a lot of uses and it's a very good program. So watch the first video if you don't know what it is. If you already know what it is, then you can just continue watching this video. I'm going to show you how you can put blocks on your Pure Guardian 2. Now when you open it up, there will be a tab called List Manager. And when you click on it, it will show you all the things that you're blocking and you're allowing. Now by default, you're going to block ads, educational, government, peer-to-peer, -peer, and spyware. Um, but you can add other ones if you want. To do that, click add. Click add URL. And then click the drop down arrow and by default they will have tons of different URLs that you can block alright and then you can down here select if you want to block or allow it all the ones they have selected by default you're going to want to block those um, they have ones such as Mark Microsoft, Spyware, Trojans um, more education files that are trying to download on your computer just tons of stuff Alright, um, now I'm going to show you a feature of it that I love. Uh, by the way, these automatically update. You can set the update time to what you want when you install it and later if you go to the settings. But these automatically update, so you don't have to worry about that. But another thing I want to show you is when you get all these, um, these blocks, all the URLs that they give you, actually they will block your most um, convenient and most used website that you go on and that is kind of a hassle because one of these URLs it blocks tons of stuff but then it blocks your favorite website and what I found really stupid was it actually blocked Google so when I open up Google right now it will open because I appear guardian disabled. Okay, but I am going to enable it and then refresh. And I'm going to go to Google. Ah. One second. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, now, sorry for the wait, uh, now it's blocking Google whenever I open it. It's saying that it's not a good program, and most of the time it will block it. I don't know why it's not right now, it's really weird. Yeah, it sucks. One time I want it to work, it doesn't work. Anyways, if you want to have a website that's blocked, unblocked, just go to add. And then in the URL spot right here, when you want to allow something, you can just go to um, Google and copy the URL and paste it in here and click OK. And then it will then allow Google and click, um, just click the X and then it will update. And then it will be in effect. 
Um, thank you for watching this video. Sorry that Google was not blocked this time. No idea why. So, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching, and make sure to rate this video and subscribe to my YouTube.